done. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to Mongo's Custom Bikes. So, for those of you who have been following the channel, you know we've been working on this uh, 77 Harley Shovelhead. And uh, I can happily say that it is finally done. We got it out on a couple shakedown rides and it is doing awesome. I will say it's a little hard getting used to the hand shifter and the foot clutch. Uh, it's not something I've ridden before, but we managed to figure it out without crashing it. So let's, uh, let's take a closer look and go over everything we've done. So we always know our favorite thing to do on this channel is to go tip the butt. So let's start at the front wheel. So we've got the, uh, the new 21 inch front wheel. And of course we've got the uh, Moto Iron Springer. I was looking for something stock, but Harley Springers are just not easy to come across nowadays. Uh, we've got the regular triangular headlight and most of these parts came from TC Bros. Uh, really, really been useful throughout this build. And you know, guys at TC Bros still looking for a sponsorship, hook it up. Uh, moving down, you see we've got the red paint on the frame. It's a cherry red. Um, we've got the, the tank strap also is red. And I was up on the fence about doing the, the Tiger Shark or the uh, War Shark or, you know, whatever you want to call it. But I think it came out really, really good on this bike. I really like it a lot. And moving down, we're running the stock s, &S carb. Runs like a dream. Didn't have to rejet or do anything to it. We've got upgraded oil lines on the motor. And then, of course, we've got our custom exhaust going uh, two to one with the dump there. We've got the foot brake. This comes from Prism Supply. And of course, the Kickstarter. Uh, it's just an upgraded pedal. I don't remember where I got it from. We rebuilt the transmission. If y'all remember that video, we also rebuilt the motor. We've got our little uh, oil pressure gauge there. So that way we can make sure we're not about to blow up. And we've got the electric starter with our upgraded, I'll call it upgraded, clutch uh, lever. And that is the old clutch lever that it got spinned on its head with a half inch drive extension as the actual clutch lever. And then the starter itself is from RevTech. We relocated our battery up to the top there. Uh, we've got our nice Springer seat. And then the rear wheel is the stock size 16 inch rear wheel with our rear uh, brake light and stop light. And that's the weld on light from Prism Supply. Really, really like some of their stuff. So coming around to the other side, shiny chrome white wall tires and we've got the three inch bdl belt drive for it with the upgraded crutch upgraded clutch uh, with the red clutch springs i think that came out pretty cool to match the red um, and then of course we've got the hand shifter that way we can be hand banging it and the chain going down to the clutch lever so here's the clutch pedal you pull that it actuates our clutch lever and then the motor itself, you know, we didn't really do any upgrades to it. We rebuilt it, put some new gaskets in it, uh, made sure it was good to go. But of course we did rewire the whole bike, if y'all saw that video. Um, so of course we got our ignition down there now. And that ignition is also uh, the starter. So you turn it once to turn the ignition on, turn it again to actually start the bike. Uh, we relocated our coil, so it lives over there now. And then our oil tank from TC Bro is down there in the front. I got the stock kickstand. I'm gonna have to figure something out with that because it hits the belt drive when you put it up. So I'm gonna have to move that kickstand elsewhere. Not really sure where I wanna put it yet, but we'll figure that out. It's not a huge deal because you can kind of just tuck it up and it, it chills. But moving back up to the tank, you see we've got the nice cool red sight gauge tube. That way you can see where your fuel is at in your tanks. And then of course the uh, shark on this side as well. But enough of me talking. Let's ride it. Let's get it running. Let's hear it rev and roar. Let's, uh, let's kick it. So we could start with the electric starter, but where's the fun in that? It's an old Harley. We gotta kick it.
hope you guys liked the video. It was really cool showing off the shovel head. It's really cool that it's done. Uh, allows me to worry, move on to new projects. Hopefully uh, these next couple videos, we'll start working on this 73 Sportster here and start getting that moving along. Really excited to work on this bike. Uh, probably the oldest bike I've had in the shop. But, you know, as always, if you haven't liked and or subscribed, please do. It helps the channel out a lot. But without further ado, keep riding, friends.